Hey guys, so I am here filming um, another fact checking video. So the fact checking video today is about skincare results in terms of if you've ever seen advertisements for products or you've seen products in the drugstore where it's like, for example, an acne spot treatment and it says can clear up or reduce zits within three days or a week. 100% clinically proven, 98% of people show um, reduced pimples within three days, things like that. Um, I wanted to fact check that because I feel like that type of advertisement can be extremely misleading. And it was misleading to me when I was a teenager going through severe acne and I was trying everything on the market in terms of drugstore skincare. So I want to talk to you guys about that today. And so, I'm going to start off with just basic physiological knowledge that when it comes to change, any kind of change, so if you're going to put new products on your skin, if you're going to take new supplements, any kind of change, it can take up to four weeks to show results. Now... Granted, there are some natural home remedies that you can see a difference overnight, but it's not a permanent difference or a overly insane significant difference. Your skin may be brighter overnight, um, the pimple could be reduced a little bit overnight, but it's never, nothing is ever gone completely the next morning. It's always either reduced or um, just brightened or just looks more even or looks more glowy um, in terms of that youthful glow. But in terms of acne care regimens and anti-aging products especially, you're not going to see a wrinkle like, you know. So first of all, it's not possible. Wrinkles are curvatures, indents in your skin and they're not gonna be filled or they're not gonna be treated overnight so and also when it comes to acne and I got a lot of frustration with this when I would go to the dermatologist and they would give me Axone it was a, a gel that you would put on your acne and it was supposed to serve as a treatment and I remember I was getting frustrated because I would use it for a week and um, at my next dermatologist appointment I'd be like, it's not working. And she would be like, it takes four weeks to show results. Simmer down. So, no, she didn't say that, but if I was a dermatologist, that's what I would tell my clients. I'm kidding. Um, so, now, when it comes to cleansers and toners, those things you can see a difference within one to two days um, depending on your skin and so that's another thing I want to talk to you about is these drugstore skincare companies market that you know 98% of people showed improvement within three days or so that's 98% of their clinical study that's not 98% of the billions of people in this world. That's 98% of their clinical study. So you have that other percentage that it, it didn't work on. And when it come when it came to my skin, I always happened to have the type of skin that would fall in that one to two percent that it didn't work. Lucky me. So but it's just there's so many variables that play into different types of skin you know we can both have oily skin but I bet you if I go to a girl and she has oily skin and she uses a drugstore brand Cetaphil which is a great brand best drugstore skincare brand I would have to say hands down is the Cetaphil line um or CeraVe but I've had oily skin people say oh you know when I wash my face with the Cetaphil it just makes all my oils go away and I have oily skin or when when I used to have oily skin so now I, I think it's just kind of acne prone and, and normal um it didn't get rid of my oils at all it didn't, it didn't make them worse but 
it most certainly didn't get rid of them. So she had oily skin and I have oily skin too, but just our physiology is different. So no skin is the same. It's different undertones, different types. And yes, you could be categorized into the same type, but physiological wise, you're not going to be the same. So what may, what may work on me may not necessarily work on you. So, you know, when I recommend skincare products, I say that they work for me. It's kind of try it at your own risk because just because it works on me and my acne doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work on you. Your skin can react very differently. You can be allergic to the product for all you know. And that's another physiological thing is allergies. You have oily skin, I say cleanse your skin with this kind of oil. It worked for my oily skin. You cleanse with that oil, it just so happens you're allergic to that oil and your face goes crazy. But the drugstore companies will advertise that. So when it comes to drugs for skincare, disproven fact, you can't have an acne treatment or a regimen work for 100% of people in three days. I'm going to go step by step, well not step by step, like product by product and read you the little uh, timeline I was talking to you about earlier in the video. So the product category is cleansers. And how long until you should be seeing results? After about a week, although two to three days may be enough time. So like I was saying about the Cetaphil, I will usually see a difference in my skin within a week. So I will see that, you know, my skin doesn't look as glowy as it does when I cleanse with my oils. Um, along things along those. So next product category is the toner. You should see results within one to two weeks, but you may start seeing results right away. Um, so when it comes to toners, it is kind of risky because a lot of toners, especially drugstore toners, are alcohol-based. So yes, you may see some results overnight, but they may not be good results. It may be your skin gets red because of too much alcohol, so it's extremely sensitive, or it's really, really dry the next morning because of the alcohol. And some of them are poorly formulated. Like, I've seen some that have silicone in it. I don't, I don't understand why you would put silicone in a, in a toner. I don't, I don't see the necessary-ness in that. <laughs> Is that in the word? I think I made it up. So, yes, when it comes to toners, you could see results overnight. Um... It could be good or it could be bad. So if you're the type of person that you've never used a toner before, you use it for the first time, sometimes you will notice your skin may be a little bit brighter the next morning when you wake up. That happened to me when I first started using a toner. But again, when it comes to toners, everybody's different. So one to two weeks, you should start seeing results. Next is your exfoliant. And you can see improvement overnight. Increased improvement after 5 to 14 days. Ongoing use is required to maintain results. Did to do because exfoliants, well, first of all, I don't I don't recommend any drugstore exfoliant at all. I don't. I recommend the ones that you make at home with the simple lemon and sugar. I have a video on sauna of a cinnamon, nutmeg, and honey one that works great to brighten the skin. That one's a great exfoliant. But exfoliants, of course, you're going to be able to see results overnight a little bit because your skin's going to look brighter because, hello, you just took off all those, all those dead skin cells. But if you're using an exfoliant to kind of fade, if you have some marks or, or acne scars on your face, it's going to take 5 to 14 days to show a significant improvement of maybe slight fadingness to the scarring um you're not gonna fade scars overnight it's just it's not possible it's scarred tissue you can't heal scarred tissue overnight it's just not physically possible so next are your moisturizers for normal to dry combination or oily skin and it says you may see a result overnight but enhanced results will occur within two to eight weeks. Now, when it comes to moisturizers, you have to have a day one and you have to have a night one. Your day one should have at least SPF 30 or SPF 15 in it, and your night one should be a little bit thick, 
like more thick than your day one and it should not have any SPF at all. So you should be using two different moisturizers. Um, two to eight weeks to see results. Now, if you've never used a moisturizer before, of course you'll see results overnight because your skin is like, oh, hydration. So your skin will look nice and nourished overnight. But in terms of overall good toneness, if your skin looks healthy, looks nourished, that's going to take two to eight weeks, especially depending on the formula. So if you're using a day moisture that doesn't have SPF in it, your skin's going to look a little bit dry because the sun can dry out your skin, especially if you don't protect it um, with SPF. And your night one, your skin, well, your body in general rejuvenates and revitalizes itself while you sleep. So you need to pack on all those skincare products at night. That's why they always say use a thicker moisturizer at night because when you're sleeping, your skin is soaking up all of that moisture and you're going to wake up to really nice and healthy and nourished skin. If you ever wake up in the morning, this is how you know you're using a good night moisturizer is when you wake up in the morning and your skin feels baby smooth, like just ridiculous. Like you just want to touch it. With clean hands, of course. But um, that's how you know you're using a good night moisturizer. Is when you wake up in the morning and your skin is really, really soft. So that's a good indication to know if your moisturizer works or not. So next product is an anti-aging, anti-wrinkle treatment serum, lotion, or cream. After twice daily usage for two to four weeks, ongoing use is required for continued improvement. So you won't be able to see results for two to four weeks but, of course, it's wrinkles. You're going to have to keep doing it to see results. You can't just go for weeks and be like, oh, yeah, you know, it's kind of improving, and then let it go because it's just going to revert. Sometimes it could revert back to what it was before you started the treatment. Um, and like I said earlier, you're not going to get, you know, 17, 20-year-old I area skin overnight if you have wrinkles that's going to take time to treat that's why i recommend prevent rather than treat so if you're you can start anti-aging at any age but really i recommend anti-aging at 18 i started when i was 18 so when you if the more you prevent you're not gonna to have to go through all those treatments when you're older so wear your sunglasses um wear your eye creams at night when you're if you're over 18 um simple things you can do to prevent you know so next product is a skin lightening treatment I have a story about this if you if used twice daily with sunscreen every day you can see excellent results in six to twelve weeks now skin lightening treatments I don't I don't care what skin concern you have and I'm going to tell you this from my personal experience. If you're using a skin lightening treatment to fade acne scars, I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Because when I was 16, I was referred the Obagi skincare lightening treatment from my dermatologist. And it screwed up the melanin in my face. And melanin is what gives skin its color. So when you tan outside, that's the melanin in your skin turning color nice and olive. The skin lightening treatment screwed up the melanin in my face, so my face doesn't tan as easily as the rest of my body does anymore. And before I used that, it used to be able to tan within like maybe 30 minutes of being, of being outside and my face doesn't tan anymore because it, it screwed it up. So skin lightening treatments are a no-no, but if you insist on using them, you're not going to see results within 6 to 12 weeks because it's fading tissue. That's not going to happen overnight. Um, next, and last but not least, is the acne treatment. You can see overnight results, but overall improvement should be apparent after 4 to 12 weeks of consistent use. So like I said, you can see a pimple reduced to the size of a dot overnight. It's very much possible, especially if you go the natural skincare route. Tea tree oil? Works wonders. Um... But you're not going to see consistent, like you're not going to see a dramatic improvement 
<clears throat> overnight or within the first week, it has to take four weeks for your skin to adjust. Especially because a lot of these acne treatments use things like sal um, salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide, which are really, really harsh chemicals. And your skin has to get used to that. It has to, you know, adapt to it. You're, like I said before, your skin is used to routine. It's going to take a little bit of time to adapt to something new. And that's okay. You know, I was the girl. I had the skin type where none of the drugstore uh, the drugstore products. Drugstore. What is that? None of the drugstore products on the market worked for me. I was always in that percentage that it didn't work for. Even when it said 100% clinically proven. I'll so, don't worry about it. I was that girl too who had that skin that just wouldn't take anything and that's pretty much what I want to talk to you guys about it yes I hope this video was really informative for you guys please subscribe thanks bye guys <laughs>